Hello Vault Crew and Gamers. This is Alrix and I want to share a simple progression build for those seeking it. I've been asked to do a video like this since Wastelanders or even earlier. It's way overdue considering 2020 is about to end and Steel Dawn just came out. This build is designed for characters between the levels of 50 and 100. Players under level 50 can start obtaining the perks as they progress. The build will be demonstrated in three sections. Perks, Mutations, and Gear. I have incorporated a mixture of combat, progression, and quality of life perks that offer a balanced experience while leveling. The build revolves around using an automatic rifle, low health, and high intelligence. The intelligence stat adds roughly 2% bonus XP per kill, so getting a high value of that special stat is of importance. A link will be included in the channel details for reference. There are 8 points in strength. Rank 2 Bandolier will reduce all ballistic ammo weight by 90%. Rank 3 Traveling Pharmacy will reduce all chem weight by 90%. We want to avoid being encumbered by stim packs, berry mentats, and ammunition. Rank 3 Blocker will reduce the melee attacks from enemies by 45%. This increases the survivability against powerful enemies like Yagwais and Deathclaws, as well as multiple ghouls attacking. There are 10 points into Perception. Rank 3 Nightperson will grant 3 Intelligence during nighttime. The 3 Intelligence will add an extra 6% bonus XP per kill. Rank 1 Concentrated Fire will be required so you may land headshots on the enemy while in VATS mode. Rank 3 Tank Killer, Rank 1 Commando, Rank 1 Expert Commando, and Rank 1 Master Commando will increase the damage of the automatic rifle. I also recommend rank 1 green thumb on standby in order to get the most yield from crops like cranberries and brain fungus. Until your character gets the legendary perk Master Infiltrator, I also recommend having all picklock perks on standby. There are 3 points in endurance. Radical will give an extra 5 strength while radiated, which means more carry weight. This build requires having around 80% of your health bar filled with radiation. This would be enough radiation for the maximum 5 strength or 25 carry weight. Rank 2 Rejuvenated will increase your well-fed and well-hydrated bonuses. After patch 24, this perk will now increase disease resist to 90%, AP regen to 45%, and bonus health to 45. AP regen is vital for this build in order to maintain being in VATS mode. There are 4 points in Charisma. Rank 3 Inspirational will grant 15% bonus XP while on the team. With the addition of public teams, it's now easier to get in a group. Look out for a casual public team so you may get up to an extra 4 intelligence. Try to find a group with a mutated teammate so stranger numbers will also be activated. Amplifying the mutations means more damage, mobility, survivability, and progression. There are 15 points in intelligence. Rank 5 Gunsmith will help increase the durability of the automatic rifle. Rank 3 Nerd Rage will give 40 damage resist, 20% more weapon damage, and 15% more AP regen, which will be good for combat. The other 7 perk points are variable, meaning you can choose the perks without having a significant impact on the build. I usually go with Rank 3 First Aid, Rank 3 Batteries Included, and Scrapper. Although those perks may not be vital, it is important to have the special maxed out as more intelligence means more bonus XP. I suggest having hacker perks, weapon artisan, fix it good, chemist, and anything that helps out with crafting on standby. You may also have demolition expert if you find a legendary weapon with an explosive effect. There are 7 points in agility. Rank 3 Action Boy or Girl will increase AP regeneration by 45%. This perk synergizes well with Nerd Rage and Rejuvenated. Rank 3 Drew Hiker will reduce your food weight by 90%. Prep will include farming lots of food, including cranberry relish, brain fungus soup, corn soup, and any ingredients worth carrying around. Escape Bars will aid in combat as sneaking is needed to evade damage and activate the sneak damage bonus. I suggest having Rank 2 Ammo Smith and White Knight on standby. And finally, there are 9 points in luck. Rank 2 Star Genes will help the mutations you have and prevent gaining the ones you don't want. 
Rank 3 Class Reek will reduce the negative effects of mutations by 75%. There are a few stats like maximum HP and intelligence that are negatively affected by mutations. Class Reek will reduce that substantially. Rank 3 Serendipity is one of the most important perks for survivability in a low health build. It has a high chance to allow the character to avoid damage completely at low health. Curator will double the duration of magazines and bobbleheads. These consumables are rare, and finding ones that increase XP are even more infrequent. Thus, this perk allows you to make the most out of them. I recommend having Super Duper on the side, as it does synergize with Canvas and Ammo Smith. Good with Salt will also be a nice quality of life play that can be added. I'll explain later in this video on how it can fit in this build. Legendary Intelligence should also be worked on as soon as you hit level 50. You will be able to get rank 2 immediately since you will be given 50 perk coins for reaching level 50. It will take around 55 more levels or 200 perk coins to get the maximum rank for this card. I don't have an immediate suggested legendary perk for the second card slot. That choice will be yours to decide at level 75. The following mutations are boosted by Stranger Numbers and the negative effects are offset by Rank 3 Class Freak. Adrenal Reaction gives more weapon damage the lower your health is. At less than 20% health, the mutation gives an extra 50% weapon bonus damage. Burn Bones adds 5 agility which adds to the max AP as well as additional sneak bonus. Eagle Eyes improves weapon accuracy and increases VAT's crit damage by 32%. The Egghead mutation provides 8 intelligence which equates to around 16% bonus XP. Herbivore amplifies the plant-based foods like Cranberry Relish, Brain Bombs, and Blight Soup. Cranberry Relish can go from 10% bonus XP to 25%. Herd Mentality grants an extra 3 to all special stats. Marsupial increases the jump height, giving the character more mobility and an extra 25 carry weight. And finally, Speed Demon increases reload and movement speed by 25%. All of these mutations will do more good than harm and will factor into your character's progression, combat, and quality of life. To get these mutations, you may have to buy serums from player vendors or in the Enclave Bunker via the Science Wing for up to 5,000 caps. For the weapon, I recommend a max level automatic rifle that uses ballistic ammo. I suggest a handmade combat rifle or fixer. For mods, I usually use a powerful automatic receiver or a primed automatic receiver if I have the ammo. I prefer to mod the weapon with a maximum clip size, but reload and armor penetration are okay too. The aligned long barrel and reflex sight help out with the AP cost. And the suppressor helps out with sneak. It is not required to have a legendary weapon, but it does help. Anti-armor, bloodied, or quad automatic rifles with 25% faster fire rate and 25 lead fast AP cost would be my recommendation. For the armor, I recommend legendary armor pieces with a legendary effect on yielding and the second star being intelligence. The third star is not as important. Additionally, a matching set is not necessary. The most important part is having the unyielding legendary effect on all five pieces. This will allow your character to get up to 15 special stats sans endurance. For the torso, I recommend the biochem mesh mod to extend chem duration by 50%. This will be useful for Berry Mantat, so it may last up to 7 minutes instead of 5. For the Under Armour, the flannel shirt and jeans with a casual shielded lining mod grants an extra 3 intelligence. This Under Armour mod may not be as convenient, so you may use a shielded vault suit until then, which will grant 2 intelligence. I recommend getting a small backpack from the Morgantown Airport and getting friendly with the Raider faction. This will allow you to buy the Chemist Backpack mod from Mortimer for a 350 gold bullion. The Chemist Backpack mod will not stack with Traveling Pharmacy. Furthermore, you can use the 3 points from Strength into Luck to use Rank 3 Go With Salt. However, the build can stay the same if you want to defer this step. In preparation, you want to use consumables like Cranberry Relish and Brain Fungus to help out with bonus XP. In addition, you may use Corn Soup for AP Refresh or Blight Soup for crit bonus damage. Maintain your well-rested, well-tuned, well-fed, and well-hydrated effects so your character may be more proficient. And on top of that, make sure you have enough ammo because Commando goes through a lot of it.
Radiation should be 80% of your health bar. You can either consume toxic goo or fire at the ground with a gamma gun to achieve this on the fly. One indicator showing that you have achieved this is when you see Nerd Rage activated. During combat, staying in sneak will help the survivability and damage output. You can use Escape Artist frequently to get back out of combat and reactivate sneak. Using Vats is crucial to take advantage of the crit bonus damage. Outside of that, make sure your AP bar recharges when needed. Berry Mantas will also help with tracking down your targets as well as grant bonus XP. I recommend locations with super mutants to get the most XP per kill. These locations include National, Isolated, Radio Array, West Tech, Huntersville, Crevasse Dam, General Steakhouse, Abandoned Bogtown, and Nugad. You may server hop to your heart's desire as long as you have the ammo and aid items. I hope that this will be helpful for anyone looking to expedite their leveling process in order to obtain score or legendary perk cards. I used this setup as a cookie cutter build for my alternative characters and has proven to be the most time effective for me. Don't let this stop you from experimenting with other perks as you are still trying to figure out what works best for you. Otherwise, take breaks and don't burn out grinding out there. If you haven't already, please leave a like so this video can be discovered by other players like yourself. Subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified of future content. These actions have helped the channel grow so much at the end of 2020. Furthermore, the channel is close to becoming eligible for the YouTube Partner Program. I'll continue creating informational videos for Fallout 76 here on YouTube and you can watch me live streaming on Twitch. I run nukes with the community and participate in Street Raiders. Connect to the Vault Crew Gaming Discord server to trade, stay informed, and socialize with our gaming community. I am on Twitter where I follow all gamers back. You can also find me on Facebook and Reddit. And if you're looking for a content creator community to be a part of, check out Lurkforce. Check out the channel details for any relevant links. Until then, I appreciate you coming through. Video dismissed. Arrow's offline. Bye now.